Siemens NX, parameter table. For many parts, the different sizes can be described completely, using parameter tables, such as standard parts. But there are also parts, that are designed entirely individually, such as this chair. But there is also something in between. Such parts have areas, that need to be customized individually. But they also have areas, that are defined by parameter sets. Like this special screw. The flange must always be individually adapted to the assembly, but the size of the thread can only be changed in accordance with the standard. The parameter table command makes it very easy to create and activate multiple parameter sets. And with that, welcome to tips and tricks on Learn NX. The base part. The screw from the last exercise needs to be adapted to three different threads. The parameters have already been created in the expressions. To avoid having to change all parameters one by one, a parameter table is created. This can then be used to activate the various sizes. Create parameter table. Start the parameter tables command and create a new spreadsheet. Now start the add expressions command from the context menu. Choose the parameters you want to control. After clicking OK, you have created your first configuration. You can now give the table a name. And also give the first configuration a descriptive name. With add configuration, further sizes are now added. The parameters of the first size are automatically transferred to the other sizes. If you add a parameter to one of the sizes later, it will also be added to all other sizes. With edit, you can change the values for each size. However, it is easier to use edit all, as this gives you an overview of all sizes. The desired values are now entered. With activate, the parameter sets can be applied. Working with parameter tables. If one of the sizes is activated, the expressions are locked. But if you want to make some final individual adjustments, you can also deactivate the size. The values of the last selected size remain set, but can now be adjusted individually again. The table can also be exported to Excel. This is useful if you want to copy and paste values from a catalog. You can then import the Excel spreadsheet again. Conclusion Parameter tables are suitable for parts that need to be controlled by parameter sets in some areas, but individually adjusted in others. If no further individual changes are necessary, I recommend the part families command, which you can use to create parts and assemblies, also controlled via tables.
You can find a complete course on this topic at LearnNX.